What's going on everyone? It's Fritz Flux and today's video girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh my gosh, did y'all see Jeffree Star's new video? Let me lift my veil. Oh, the drama girl. Okay, let us, let's pray girl. Let us pray sisters. Okay, no seriously. So Jeffree Star came out with a brand new launch. Mm-hmm. Let me roll you the little clip girl. Here we go, roll it. Juicy girl. First of all, okay, you know the Catholic community is shook, girl. You know the religious, oh, got another receipt right here. It says, did you see Jeffree Star dressed up like the Pope? Girl, when Jeffree Star dressed up in full pink fantasy robe, I, I'm looking at it right now, I can't. I, I'm shook about it. Like. I, this is the most exciting I've ever been. The most excited I've ever been for like a launch in this year. Okay, you know she brings it to you every ball. I don't know why you're gagging so. I, look, I was sitting there and I'm like, the production value alone, the pink robe, the little, oh my God, I, I can't stop talking about it. I'm so freaking excited. I'm like, when I first saw it, I was like, I screamed. I was like, no, are you serious? Like, you went there. You freaking went there. I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. I think this is very, I think it's smart. And let me tell you why it's smart. Love them or hate them. The, the duality, the dichotomy of Jeffree Star. It's like, it's invoking conversation and people are noticing, they're gonna look and like, what's going on, right? Gone are the days, girl, that you can have a sickening palate that just swatches that the formula just melts like butter into your skin. Gone are those days, girl. Now you gotta have a little drama, a little scandal behind it. Just get, just get a little view, girl. Okay, just like me, I can't get a like on this video to save my life. I am, I can't even get a damn subscriber to save my life, much less a comment. And don't even say in the comments down below. Christian, mm-hmm, from Arkansas. Don't say that I delete comments. Why would I delete comments when I can't even get a comment? Girl, that make no damn sense, girl. That's like me saying, subscribe to my video, and then, like, unsubscribing you. What make no damn sense, girl, okay? Anyways, I kind of feel like Jerry Star was smart in the sense of, like, this was a, mm-hmm, controversial scenery going on here and if he was to do that with the makeup it would you know start some buzz and i think it's working a lot of people are noticing a lot of people are taking interest in it a lot of people were thought oh girl jeff star problematic the house where where because in the last week he hasn't been maybe the week before that was problematic but the last week he's been very good girl okay but this was like i'm super excited for it i just know i haven't been excited for a palette in a while, and I have, because no one's really dropping palettes lately, you know? At least not themed palettes. And you know, I love a good theme, girl. You know, somebody asked me, they had said, you know, in the beauty community, and I wanna ask you guys, guys too, like please let me know in the comments down below, do you feel like the makeup bubble has popped? In a sense, like Kylie Jenner's not selling out like she used to be. Anastasia Beverly Hills is not selling out like they used to be. Like, did the makeup bubble pop? Are people just not interested anymore? Did that age grow out? You know, like, what is going on? Is it the pandemic? Is people just not buying makeup? I feel like the pendulum swings. I feel like if that's the case, it's going to come right back around 
and there'll be a, like another bubble of makeup to pop again. But like, it lasted a good six, five years, girl, okay? I'm just saying all day long. But, I, but this has made me excited about it. And I've said, I really like themed palettes, like the Prince palette, I was really excited for. The ColourPop Cosmetics Powerpuff Girls palettes, I was really excited about for. This Jeffree Star religious theme, I'm really excited. It just, it's a theme. And Jeffree Star, like I have it right here, she brings you the themes, you know? Remember Blood Money? You got Jeffree Star's face on it. You got the whole like palette that was in the shape of like the money vault. And like, you know, it was just like the whole thing. Like, I love a good theme. A theme party. You know, I just, oh, more receipts. Let me see, hold on. How dare you talk about Jeffree Star? You don't even know her. Girl, coming for me in the house. Just my opinion. God forbid you have an opinion in, in the internet, girl. Oh my God. I think this is going to sell out, girl. Mm-hmm. The Jeffree Star Setting Mist came out. The product inside, the formula, it is baby pink as well. You guys know I did make one with Morphe a while ago, my strawberry one. It was amazing and iconic. Um, but it was time to really dive in and do my own and with really cool benefits as well. So, here is the Holy Mist. Now you guys, this is going to relax, soothe, and calm your skin. This is really going to penetrate in, into your skin and really help for signs of stress. Um, and it's going to give you a burst of hydration. It smells so good! Let's talk about the scent. There's no alcohol weird ingredient in here. This is an actual dragon fruit extract. It smells so good. I could douse myself in it all day. And now you don't need to shake this. It's ready to go. Of course, if you move it around, nothing's going to happen, but you don't need to shake it. The mist is ready. Now, I think a nozzle and how something sprays is very important. So here is how mine sprays. Very fine. <sighs> Oh, it is so refreshing. Never done a setting mist. The fact that he did it, I want to check it out. I think that this is going to be interesting. I like the pump in the spray. It was very fine mist. I'm excited, guys. I really am. I know I'm probably going to get hate. How dare you like this? Yes, Girl, it's, I'm, it got me it got me excited for it. I feel like, I hope there's like a bundle where you can just buy it all. So I'm gonna go through it with you that I remember on top of my head. There was a palette was in the shape of a Bible. Okay, I think it was like 50 something dollars. Um, and then they got the highlighter, okay, which is 60 something. Now you got three high, and there's, which is more expensive than the palette, but that's because, well, from what I heard, that those, those like highlighters are very expensive to make. They're like from overseas, like Rome or Italy or something like that. So like very bougie, very expensive pearls. I don't know what's going on over there, but it's so expensive, right? Maybe shipping, importing, I don't know. But like, that was really cute. I really liked that one. I think it was a very well thought out, executed drama. Because even the highlighter had the heart in the middle with the light. It was just beautiful. And then you got like, like I said, back to the back to the palette being a Bible with the gold on the side. And you open it. And it's like all pinks. Which I thought there would be pinks in there, of course. But I was like, would there be a little blues, a little whites, maybe some browns? No, it was just like pure pink, girl. I mean, pink religion. I don't know. I love it. I love it. I love like, like, let me see, a good example, right? So you got the Jeffree Star Blood Money palette, right? It was like full of greens, right? And there was like some other colors in there too. I gotta get this open. It's a brand new one right here. So let me get this open right here. Oh yeah, guys, I do want to say that this palette right here that's brand new, if you want this palette, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, about what your favorite food is. How about that? This is it right here. I'm gonna show it to you. Yep. Still has the plastic right here on it and everything. This is the pad. All greens. This was the Blood Money one. It is amazing. The last thing you have to do is follow Ebu Beauty Instagram. Tell them I sent you. That's how you're gonna get in to win this palette. And if you want extra points, I do have a vlog channel called Rich Look Shopping. You can go and subscribe to that one. It's me just like shopping videos and stuff like that. And yeah, we'll pick the winner in like three days for this one. I have, I'll have, I'll make sure Ebu Beauty picks the winner for this one on their Instagram story and stuff like that. Okay, so this is one of you guys are gonna win this palette, brand freaking new. This is like fifty dollar palette right here. Okay, but like back to what I was saying, it's this whole theme, right? Like somebody invited me to a party and I was like, is it a theme party? No, it's not. Mm, I want to go. Like, I want to go to a theme party where we all dress up like a character or something. Like, 
this is what I like. And I feel like a lot of us in the beauty community are just kind of like, you know, we've seen it. And I have one right here, girl. I just, oh my God, it's right, it fell on the floor. Hold on, don't, don't cover me. Like, okay, like right here, okay. Not, no shade against this brand, a really good brand. Ciate London, ultra bougie, very expensive brand, right? So they have this palette, right? You know, they come out with this palette, okay, yeah, cute, whatever. Right, let me show you. Get ready, you're gonna be shook, okay? Now, I don't know the name of this palette, girl. I think it's called the bronze palette, okay? But the packaging's cute, you know? You open it up, you know, you know, neutrals and nudes, yeah. We've seen this before. This is, this is a typical makeup palette with the browns and the neutrals, like very much that, right? We've seen this. I think a lot of people are just kind of like, oh, kind of bored. It could be the best formula in the world, but we've seen this so many times. And other brands, when they bring you a theme, get you excited about it. I don't know, guys. You can uh, let me know, like really let me know how you feel about that in the comments down below. But I just think that us as a beauty community are just kind of like over, you know, the typical little, you know, palettes. Like, if you're going to give us a, a, a palette like this, a nudes, a neutrals and bronze palette, give us a theme, girl. Give us a theme. Like, you know what? Let me tell you what. And I want my 10% if anyone does this out there. If I was going to do a palette, girl, and this was it, okay, I could work with this, girl. I would say, okay, this palette, we're going to call it Hot Girl Summer Bronze Palette. Okay, and the photo shoot and the theme would be all hot models on the beach, sunburned and bronze with like boils of blood, you know, because they, they stay, they, they sunbathe too long, girl. So fashioning, girl, and they're just posing in the house. Amazing. It's like dark, it's twisted, it's giving you something unexpected. It's almost like, you know, we've all seen the, the girls on the TikTok, they do the, the Disney Princess Cinderella makeup looks. Okay, you've seen it all before. Give me a Cinderella with a glass slipper on the side of her neck because she tripped and fell on her glass slipper and she's like bleeding out. And she's like, oh, you know, give me a give me a little mermaid with Ursula the sea witch tentacles wrapped around her throat and she's suffocating. She's kind of blue, but er, very Ursula. Give me something dark and twisted. You know what I'm saying? Give us a theme, girl. Take an existing theme and elevate it. That's, I'm just saying, girl, but are you just gonna come out with this palette and be like, girl, this is my little palette, I love this man. So it's pretty, girl, we've seen it a thousand times. Give us a, give us a sickening old dirty, dirty theme, honey. I don't know. What can I do for you? We all seen unicorn palettes. Okay, give us a dying unicorn palette. Girl, I would love, I love that. You know, me in the field. Looking like a little, a little, little fairy girl, and there's all these unicorns dying. They can't breathe, girl. So like, it's like pastels. They're like dark pastel color palette. Boom! There you go. I'm telling you, girl. I can come up with these all day, girl. You know, we've all seen the unicorn palettes, unicorn mist, unicorn tears. Give us the platypus palette. You know, give me, a, give me a platypus palette, girl. We've seen it all. Girl, this damn eyelash. Let me fix it, girl. Hold on. Okay, there she goes. But you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, elevate it, right? Oh, I do want to say this, guys, very, very quickly. I got to pay the light bill, honey. This video is sponsored the house by Ebu Beauty. Let me tell you this. You're going to be saying two things very quickly. Okay, where's one is it? Because I've been using this one a lot. <gasps> girl, where'd it go? Yes, right here. So this is it. The girl, look how much I've been using of it. Okay, for every bottle that is purchased, a portion of the proceeds goes to the No Kill Animal Shelter. So you get to um, save an animal, help an animal. You know, if you know anything about the No Kill Animal Shelter, they take animals in, they do not put them down. So a portion of the proceeds goes to the No Kill Animal Shelter. And also, if you do purchase and using code RICHLUX, you get an autographed bottle. So autographed bottle, portion of the proceeds go to the No Kill Animal Shelter. Use code RICHLUX at checkout. This is the multi-tinted moisturizer girl i'm not gonna steer you wrong this stuff is good girl mm -hmm. multitasking tinted moisturizer boom by ebu beauty i put the link down below all that stuff like that thank you ebu for sponsoring this video let's get on with this drama girl i i feel like i'm gonna go buy it all i think i'm gonna buy the whole entire collection and then we'll do a giveaway seriously we'll do a giveaway to the house okay but anyways let me think about all that drama in the comments down below oh stay tuned because i do have this oh my god i can't show it to you hold on I finally got it in the mail. The Supreme Jeffree Sauce, Jeffree Star Mystery, did I eat Jeffree Sauce? Jeffree Star Mystery Box. 
the Supreme box. I did an unboxing for it. This is the big one. That's a $200 one. I'll probably upload that, that one tomorrow to be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, and if you missed it, the small and medium, that's already up on my channel. Let's check it out as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the drama. I'm so super excited. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.